Hi everyone, in today's video, we will show you what you can do with Issues Premium Plan. The features that we'll be covering during today's demo are auto-detected links, scheduled releases, downloads, enabling SEO, removal of banner ads, video embeds, customization of embeds and full screen readers, statistics, and our groups feature. We will also be highlighting some of the differences between our basic starter um, with a primary focus on our premium plan as well as optimum. The basic plan is for users looking to get started with digitizing their content and wanting to display their content in a flipbook format hosted on issue. The starter plan is for small organizations or individuals who want to have access to our full screen reading and embed options. Our premium plan, which is our most popular subscription plan, gives our content creators all the tools they need to run their business. If the basic and starter plan are meant for a hobbyist, I would say that the premium plan is for users hoping to utilize their content to brand themselves. It's also going to provide you the ability to give your readers the best and most optimal user experience. And of course, our optimum plan will include all the tools given with the premium plan, with the addition of up to 25 users in the groups feature. Okay. Now let's get started. Okay, so now we're on the issue homepage. The first thing I want to do is to add content to my account. I could do so by pressing into this add content button here. And from there, I can actually go ahead and either upload or drag and drop files from my device, Dropbox or Google Drive. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to go ahead and upload something directly from my device. Great. So while your document is uploading, you could go ahead and add in any details pertaining to your document. So um, we're just going to first ask you to put in a title. I'm going to put in orange juice. For your description, I would put in anything that you think will pertain to your document and will draw your readers to your content. So I'm just going to move ahead and put a description here. The next thing that will be asked is to choose a type for your document. Um, this increases your chances of getting promoted by issue. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and select editorial. You can also select the back date as well for your document as well. And um, a feature I'd like to highlight as part of our premium plan is detected links. The auto detected links feature will automatically find any unmarked links within your document and convert that into a link. If you have anything written out like in our example, www.example.com, our system will automatically find it and convert it into a link. The best benefit of this system is the amount of time you could save by having issue do the legwork for you. This is especially important if your content has a lot of individual unmarked links in it, which need to be converted into clickable links. So I'm just going to go ahead and toggle this on. Now we want to select the availability of our document. You can either choose between public, unlisted, or scheduled. So scheduled releases are a good feature to have if you want to release content on a regular basis. Instead of saving the document as a draft on your issue account and returning at a later date to publish the document, all you need to do is go ahead and press into this scheduled button here and select a date and a time for you to publish your document. And it'll automatically go live at your pre-selected date. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and go into our downloads feature here. This feature will allow your readers to download your content that you're putting out in a PDF format straight to their device. So I'm just going to toggle this on. It'll be downloadable on issue.com and in their embeds. Another feature I would like to highlight is enabling SEO. SEO stands for search engine optimization. So think of it in terms of SEO, in terms of what people are searching for online and what keywords they're using for that search. By knowing what exact keywords are related to your content, this will help you target readers who are hoping to consume that specific type of content. Knowing these answers will help you connect with your audience organically and drive more traffic and engagement to your content. In addition, it will also give you increased visibility in the search engine compared to any of your other competitors who are not utilizing SEO optimization, but are providing similar content as you. 
And the last feature I want to highlight on this page is the removal of banner ads. This feature will allow you to remove third-party ads that may display around or within your content. And this is a great way for you to highlight your own content without any distractions, especially on your issue page, within your embeds, or in our full screen readers. And I'm actually going to go ahead and show you the difference side by side of a publisher with banner ads included in their content and a publisher without banner ads uh, present in their content. So if I press here, you can see here that this document has banner ads displaying around their content. It looks a little bit busy. It doesn't look as professional. And um, I'm just really as a reader distracted by what's going around my content. In comparison, if I click into this document here, you can see that there's no banner ads running around it and it just looks a little bit more professional and it creates a cleaner and more streamlined experience, especially for like your audience. So actually, I'm going to go back to my original page here. I'm going to toggle this as public and I'm going to go ahead and publish my document now. Okay, great. So now that I'm done publishing my document, my next step will be to add links and videos. So I could do that by exiting out here and going under an enhanced feature and pressing into add links and videos. From here, you'll actually be presented with the list of pages from your original document. And what you can do is actually just prep into one of the pages. So I'm just going to click into page 14. And I could go ahead and zoom into my document. And this just makes it a little bit easier for me to um, view my image and go in and draw a box around where I want to put in the interactive content. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw a box. Great. So uh, in this specific video, though, I'm actually going to go ahead and highlight our video embed feature. And as you can see here, we do support Vimeo and YouTube videos. So if you have any external videos that you want to embed into your document, just go ahead and upload it onto those two video platforms and you can insert the URL here. As you can see here as well, we do have three different video embed options. The play and overlay is available on our basic and starter plans. However, for a more seamless video experience for your readers, I do recommend our embed and publication and embed and publication and autoplay options. So I'm actually going to go ahead and enter a URL that I have here. And I'm just going to leave it as play and overlay. Select done and go ahead and save my document. And I'm going to move forward with viewing it in my reader. So as I hover over this page here, it's going to highlight in blue. I could press into the interactive content and the video will pop up in my screen. So I'm actually going to go ahead and show you what our embed and publication option will look like. So I'm going to go ahead and go to our Atlas magazine example here. And this is one of our content creators. And as you can see, the video is embedded directly into the document and then when i press play it will play within the perimeters of the document so it will be all contained so as you can see there is a difference between the experience it looks a lot more seamless instead of embedding it in the overlay as seen here okay so i'm going to head back to my issue page and the next feature i would like to highlight is our customization options for embedding on your own website and our full screen sharing option as well. So I'm going to press into embed on website here. So with our embed on website feature here, you could change the width to whatever you would like manually, or you could choose this responsive width feature. You can also change your background color as well. Um, by default on the basic and starter plan, it will be black. However, you could choose from uh, these custom colors here which are drawn from your document cover page. And this will be available on the premium feature. We also have a color scale here as well if you want to choose a custom color. This feature is good to have if your organization or brand has a specific color palette that you want to adhere to or that you're known for. You could also use it to inspire a specific emotion or aesthetic from 
your document using a custom color as well. You could choose a different start page. It'll default to your first page, which is your cover page. However, you could choose any single page from your drop down list here and select it. You also have the option between choosing between a single page layout or a double page layout. And you could toggle on this auto flip pages feature here as well. Under advanced settings feature here, you can really go in and customize your embed. So first you could go ahead and remove your issue branding. As you can see, there's going to be a power by issue logo here. All you need to do is press this feature here and it'll automatically get rid of it. You can also toggle your promote your publications in a read more section option here, which will allow you to highlight your content in our read more section, which is a great way to organically expand your reader base and the number of eyes discovering your content. You can actually go ahead and hide your share button here. This is if you don't want your viewers to easily share out your document, which is important if you want to keep your documents private and confidential. In addition, if you're interested in incorporating additional branding into your embed, you could go under our full screen settings here and paste in the image URL in order to incorporate your logo into your issue document. So I'm going to take an example image here, and I'm just going to go ahead and paste it into this field here. So when I open up my document in a full screen, you can actually go ahead and see the logo on the upper left hand side. I'm also going to show you as well how the background image would look like as well. So I'm just going to paste the same image here and I'm going to go ahead and stretch it in the background. So when I open up in full screen, it's going to head back a little bit. You see that it is blocked a little bit. So you may want to go into the top left and it'll show in this manner. Okay, so now that I'm happy with all the customizations that I've done to my embed, what I can go ahead and do is just go ahead and grab this embed code and copy it out and then incorporate it into my website. So I actually do want to show an example of what that embed would look like on one of our content creators pages. So I'm going to go into um, Brooklyn Tweed here. As you can see, um, their document is embedded into their web page. Uh, their background is white, which kind of follows the aesthetics of what they're trying to achieve. It looks seamless, it looks beautiful, and as a reader, I'm like really happy to see it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and move back to the issue main page. And I'm going to press into full screen sharing here. So the full screen sharing customizations share a lot of similarities with the embed on website. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and skip over this, but I will show you what the uh, full screen reader will look like when you send it out as a URL to your readers. So all I need to do is save and get this link here and then copy the link. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a new tab and press into there. So now that I see um, my document, it's auto flipping, it's single page, and this is really the experience that you'll get as a reader. And as you know, I did toggle on my download button. So as a reader, I could just go ahead and press this and it'll automatically go ahead and download as a PDF, as you see here. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and go back to my issue page again. And I'm going to go ahead and go back to the home page. So now that we publish our content, we added embedded videos to it and we have customized the embeds and the full screen sharing to our liking. I think we should actually go ahead and look at statistics, which we can find on the left hand side here. So what is shown here is my umbrella statistics for all my publications that I've ever uploaded onto issue. So why are statistics important? It is a good way to measure the success and performance of your content. For example, if you're publishing and digitizing all your content, it is important to take a step back and look to see what exact spots of your content are your audiences really engaging with and going in and honing in on that. 
And this is also a way for you to scale your content accordingly to what is performing well with your audience. We do provide a lifetime statistics on all of our plans. However, on the premium plan, you do have the option to get a little bit more granular with your content analysis by diving into each individual document and each page within that document. And you could actually go ahead and do so by pressing into this drop down menu here and then pressing into any of your previous documents that we have uploaded into issue. Let's also go through the different terms you'll be seeing within the issue stats. Impressions are the number of times that your content was served or shown on the issue network, whether in someone's feed as a thumbnail, search result, or on a website where you have embedded the content. Reads are counted when someone opens your content and either performs an action by flipping the page, zooming in, or any other type of action like, or if you stay on the page for longer than two seconds. Of course, average read time is the read time broken down in seconds. And clicks is the number of times your marked links have been clicked on within your document. So if you scroll down a little bit further, you'll see the performance of my links. So for example, it looks like on page eight, I have received two clicks from my readers. And if, you, if I scroll down a little bit further from there, this will provide a page by page breakdown of my impressions, reads, read time and average read time. In addition to this page by page analytics breakdown as well, we'll also show you where your content is being accessed and where it's being read from. Under reading devices, you'll be able to see if someone is viewing your document either through a desktop, a tablet, or a mobile device, or through an embed or through issue.com. This way you'll be informed of where your audience is visiting from and you can make changes to transform your content in a way that is more mobile friendly or desktop friendly to accommodate your audience. If I scroll down as well, you can see that most of my audience is from the United States. Uh, we do show a breakdown by country. So the last feature I want to cover is groups. You can create a group account by pressing into your account icon here and then going under account settings. Under this tab here, there will be a tab that is called groups. Just press into it and you can just go ahead and get started. We actually have a step-by-step -step guide and video tutorial on how to set up groups here. So I won't be covering it in this video, but just if you are creating a group account, you could go ahead and press into here and you'll be led to the video. But a little bit more about groups. Think of this as an enterprise or umbrella account where every single member invited can have access to the main account. You could create an owner or administrative account under groups, which will be the only account that will have access to billing. So I could see this as a great way if you're a school and you have students that are collaborating uh, with you and you don't want them to have access to your billing, um, this is kind of a good way to segregate all those individual accounts. This is also a good option as well if you're trying to collaborate in a larger group on multiple projects. Um, but you would want to keep your billing and invoices separate from the rest of your group. So premium accounts actually have up to three uh, seats under a group account. And this is also including the owner account as well. Optima accounts will have up to 25 uh, seats. So think of it as licenses under a single umbrella account. So now that completes our demo. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to visit our support page here and our help center here. You can either look up your question in the search bar here or scroll down to learn more about any issue feature of your choosing. I didn't cover over digital sales in this video. However, you could just go ahead and press into sell your content and that will lead you to our digital sales uh, information page. Great, so now this concludes our issue premium feature walkthrough. I hope that this has been helpful for you. Bye.